is the PartyPoker.net World Open Pool. Over $500,000 is the prize pool. The winner gets a massive $250,000 check, and the race is on. Many days you're going to go home with less money than you started the day with. It's a proper game. It's, it's a strong game. It's a real man's game. You make one mistake and you're walking through the exit door. I think when I said that to the table, people are often at Shepherds Bay in the back of the trailers. I want to turn my nose up at 250000 but at this precise moment, I'd just like to win it for reputation purposes. It's all about the money, definitely. I'm not going to tell you otherwise. <laughs> a spot at the semi-finals is up for grabs, and for our runners-up, there's a second chance to get it back in the turbo round. We are halfway through the heat stages. So far, champions have fallen, and the mighty underdogs have hit some fine four. On oh, real, man. Wow, wow, wow. What chance? Table, banter, and needles are guaranteed. I'll bet 100,000 pounds you didn't have sixes. That's me. Yeah? Also, nobody knows how the pros' minds tick like Neil Badby Channing. He'll be given his insights on the moves that grew to help you become a poker superstar. The players at the table tonight include multi-millionaire shipping tycoon Achilles Kalakis certainly isn't it for the money but the Don is determined to win a title and prove he has what it takes as a poker player I feel confident but it's a very formidable lineup so uh, it's gonna be tricky to say the least European Open finalist Nick Purseau is the man in form coming into the heat with a recent second at the GUKPT in Manchester can his newfound confidence lead him to victory? Things went well for me in the Manchester GUKPT. I uh, ran really well. I won all my coin flips. I kept sucking out on people all the time, and um, that's the way to do well in poker tournaments, everyone. Ryan Fronda is a big name on the poker circuit and is on a roll. But the World Open is his nemesis. He struck out twice before. Last time I played these types of formats, I uh, was exceptionally unlucky and I swore I'd never come back, so I don't know what I'm doing sitting here, but we'll find out. The steel man, Dave Broadhurst, made it to the semis in the European Open 4. He's calm and in control at the table, but you know that winning's the only thing on his mind. Last time I played, I won the heat and went to the semi-finals. So I just think if it's my day, it's my day. The only player to take European and UK Open titles back to back is the renowned Ian the Razor Fraser. He knows this game inside out, but he's yet to crack the world open. I'm always confident anyway. Um, you know, whenever I sit down, I always think I'm going to win. Richard Ashby, known as Chufty, has had a bit of form of late. He cashed at the EPT in Dublin and made it to the final of the UK Open 4, finishing in fourth place. He's no stranger to these formats, and he'll be working his charm with the cards. I haven't actually done the best preparation for today's tournament. I had rather quite a late light, night last night, so I'm hoping that I'm just going to get a good run of cards and not have to work too hard for, for the win today. Mostly a British heat, but you always know you're in for quality when the Razor Ian Fraser sits down. This one of the few televised tournaments in this format he hasn't won. A man who knows his game well along with others is the Greekfish. Now, Greekfish, Fraser the favorite? Yeah, he's got to be. He's got a phenomenal record in uh, all these six-handed events, and he's got to be favorite today, yeah. But a couple guys in form. I mean, Nick Perso won 50 grand just yesterday. Yeah, amazingly, yeah, he won 50,000 in the, one of these GP UK things up at uh, Manchester. They've done really well and he must be in a confident mood. He's got a little bit of form in this format. He made actually the final table this World Open when Liam Flood won it a couple of years ago. So he'll be looking to improve there. Right, and the experience, Jesse, it goes for a lot in these six-handed events and yeah, he's got every chance. If you're going to find an underdog in this field, who is it? Oh, there's two, but Ryan Fronda for me, you know, if he gets his game together and the other two have off days, then he's got every chance. And also Richard Ashby, um, big Omaha player a big uh, online player, and he could do well also. Well, we're only getting two cards here, not, not four, though. I'm going to go for the phrase, uh, as I would every time, because he has to be favourite whenever he sits down, but uh, Brian Fronda, for an outsider for me. Mostly Brits, it'll be big egos, and everyone gunning for that semi-final, of course. You can stack them however you want, but the yellow's still worth a thousand. The blues are two, the reds 5k apiece. It's a stack of 100,000 per player with 600K on the table. 
very much looking forward to this heat, Greek Fish. Pass. Uh, because a lot of these players seem to be in very good form, Pass. especially in this format of late. Yeah, we've got players in good form. And um, on another subject, Jesse, I'd just like to say I come in for a lot of criticism last time I was in the commentary Race box with you. And um, unfairly, Pass. I thought. So I'm going to try to make as few mistakes as possible today. Pass. Listen, Greek Fish, you got to say it as it is. Cool. I like this play by Ryan now. Well, it, it's nice because Franda is somebody who has, I think, been self-critical that he's been a little too too much. Wow, gosh. look at this. I was going to say, I mean, he's been self-critical that he's been a little too Check. conservative in these things. He's given him a few spins. He's yet to get through. And now here he is, giving it a lashing. Check. A That's a great card for Franda here because... Uh, Ashby must have a pop at this now. He's got two pair. He yeah, thinks he's, he's got to think he's ahead. Yeah, but Ryan, you know, he can't believe his hey, eyes at the moment. What a flop for him. That's all come perfect. He doesn't want another heart here, though. If another heart comes, he won't get a, a dollar. Jeez, I feel like you might have had to push him. If, if, if he raises there, Ashby's going to gonna have to re-raise, isn't well, he? Well, that's a terrible card for, for Ryan here because he ain't going to get no more out of this pot now. How did this pot get so small? 11,000. Now, Ashby's going to think he's had a bad beat. Little does he know if that heart never come, and uh, he could have been in a lot of trouble. I'm sure he's going to comment here, Jesse. It's interesting, bet size. I mean, it's obviously a bit defensive from Franda's point of view, but it's turned into a very small bet. Yeah, he's priced him in. He wants a call, but um, that's a great lay down. Well done. Not that he could beat anything, but um, I'm sure he thinks he got unlucky there. Little does he know, Jesse. Broadhurst, for first. <laughs> raised, 4,000 total. Pass. Mini raised, but it, it must Pass. represent something. Let's see. It's, cool. Oh, it's a 7 8 of spades, so. It's the right time to play it now when the when the you know the blinds are very small, Jesse. You can see flops, and um, if you're going to pull stuff like that, you have to do it cool. now. But um, I see a different Ryan Fronda today. I mean, he, he wants to play the ace too, albeit it's a small part. I mean, he's the sort of guy that he could get away <coughs> from an ace high flop if he doesn't like his kicker anyway. A couple pairs. Broadhurst <laughs> with the lower one, but representing the bigger one. And Kalakis, it's not obvious what to do, or is it? Well, if you're in Kalakis' seat now, you think, well, how's he coming out betting a 10? He's going to put him on a king. But cool. Well, that's a nice call by Kalakis as he picked something up there that we can't see from in here. Well, Greekfish, do you think maybe oh, he's just calling to see what happens on the turn? If it gets bet again, he can be done with it. I um, think that's exactly right, Jesse. You called that 100%. No, see, so Broadhurst has to slow down now. Mm -hmm. Big style. Achilles has a flush draw now as well. So many draws out there. 15,000. That, that's a big, he's representing the king. But the problem he's going to find there is Achilles has got a lot of outs. If he has, if he is up against the king, then obviously he's got a club to get, uh, to get or a 10 or a queen. And um, I think he's priced in here to call. Dave with the heavy stare, eyebrows over the glasses, and Achilles. Well, I, I couldn't pass. If I was in Achilles' seat, I couldn't pass for that, you know, for that bet, for the amount of outs that he should cool. have. And now Broadhurst can only fire, and you know, fire at the pot on the river, and uh, if he doesn't, he's going to lose this simple. Well, that's perfect for Kalakis. He's going to be jumping up and down now, and he's going to think that he's going to get paid, but he ain't going to get paid. I mean, there's a, a bet would come here, but you can see the tremble there. 25,000. And it can't call any raise, so uh, Kalakis would be delighted to just picking this part up. And there's the familiar, hmm, and groans, and then raise. We've seen this a million times with Kalakis. He's got to stop doing it. It is, by the way, Greek Fish, the nuts. He has the best hand possible. Yeah. And um, when he announces his raise, everyone's going to know that as well by the time, you know, he stops sighing and moaning about his, uh, his bad luck. <laughs> God, this is going to be interesting. Oh, he's all in. Dear me. Well, he's obviously putting Broadhurst on a lot bigger hand than what he's actually got. 
Yeah, I mean, I love the idea of Broadhurst to make that third bullet bet, Greek fish, but that ace of clubs on the river, it made a straight draw, it made a flush draw. It was a real bad card for him, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a terrible Three card for him, but, um... He's got guts, doesn't that he? That low. Do you know what that's doing? I impressive. That five that three ball. times at that. You don't think two tens was? You don't think two tens was? Two tens. You could get a shovel and whack him over the edge. You are not going to get them chips lightly off him, Jesse. <laughs> Kalakis has won his pot. More, it's a nice pot. He's feeling good. And um, I don't think we're going to see too much of him for the next half hour or so. Where's my shovel? <laughs> Pass. Pass. Nice hand by Ryan. Raised to 9,000 total. It's unfortunate for Broadhurst. Uh, I mean, he, he ran a nice kind of bluff there, didn't he? Didn't he? Well, he the thing is, he's not going to run into the nuts all the time, is he? And, you know, I would say seven or eight out of ten are going to get through there. But, um, you know, on the turn, it was a disgusting card for Broadhurst because, you know, when he picked up the flush door, that was that. He couldn't, he couldn't pass. Now, will Ashby peel off a flop here with his coin eight? Because if a coin oh. flops, it's going to be an absolute disaster if it hasn't got an eight with it. Broadhurst making a loose call as well with the ace three, well, but Front is out of position, isn't he? Yeah, a nice coin eight flop would be very interesting. But as you can see, I'm not psychic. The ball missed. Broadhurst has got the best claim to a draw. I've got, I've got like Front here. I think he takes his pot. How much should he bet? Enough to make them pass. 14,000. Oh, that, that's a nice bet. I mean, Broadhurst's got a straight draw, but can he really call for a oh. four it? Oh, nice. my oh, good God. Go on, steel man. Dear, wow. What is going on there? <laughs> Too many Red Bulls for the man here. And he obviously is going to get it through. And, uh, wow. You know, it's such a small raise because Broadhurst didn't have many chips. The front is... How much is that sure raise? 17,000 more. Oh, right. Okay, he's got a call then. If the, if the pot's 72,000, it's only 17 for Ryan to call. You know, he's going to think he's behind, but he's got to call. Look down. He'll be... No, he's got to call, Jesse. He's and got to call. And, and when he sees how far ahead he is, he's going to fall on <coughs> his chair. Call. He can't pass. Yeah, Good call comes. for Ryan. Well done. He's going to be absolutely delighted when he sees this. And I know what he's thinking, Jesse, because this boy runs so, so bad. He's thinking, here comes the four, here comes the four. But he was thinking, I can't believe I almost folded. Yeah, well, any three, any four for Broadhurst, otherwise we're going to be losing him at the moment. And there are no split pots out there now. The queen plays in any case. It must be a three or a four or we lose our first player, Jesse. And we've lost him. Yeah, the one, the one run right, for Steelman, oh. Dave Broadhurst. But uh, tell you what, he went like a lion, hard on his shield. <laughs> Ryan Frond, uh, ace queen of spades, didn't look so good when he got raised all in on the flop. No, but he made a great call and um, he got what he deserved on this occasion and a lot of chips now. Queen plays with the ace high, taking us to five. As soon as I start playing, I know if it's good or bad. Today, I just didn't feel right. Well, welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 4. Five on this Ooh, table, up. playing down to one. Winning. Good read, sir. Cool. Well, did you see that, Jesse? Five, six of diamonds, and Kalakis is coming. What is going nice. on here? <laughs> Sound like Paul Revere. Raised, 7, well, anyone that knows Kalakis knows that this isn't his game. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. No matter what he does from this point onwards, I'll be impressed with him doing that. Uh, the chippies. Prolipping cool. in with the 5-6 and calling a raise. This is Kalakis we're talking about. I mean, it's aces, kings or queens, otherwise his hand's getting mucked. That's it. Yeah, yeah he's, he's mixing stuff. his game up. It's yeah, absolutely. Let's see if he needs to go to spec uh, Specsavers. Well, no, he never bet. Ronda flopped in second pair, top kicker. And this is interesting the way he's... He's going to have a pop here. Yeah, it's, he a, 
It's 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 a nice little line that Fran has taken, isn't it? Inducing the bluff now, or not well, really the bluff, but Fran is just going to flat call it. Don't need to do no more than that. There's a couple draws out there. There is, but if he raises and faces a re-raise, then he's got to throw his hand away, so he can just call and see what happens. But we worked this out in like three seconds. It takes around about a minute, but he'll get there in the end. Call and see what happens on the river. That's what I would say. Yeah. Black is not really the sort to turn on the big bluff on the river. I mean, he's capable. Yeah, Great I've seen fish. him do it to Gregory once, but wow, what a card that is. Now he's just going to bet for value, isn't he? Well, see, Ryan, I know he, he folds, honestly. He makes, he makes a massive blade down. So he's priced him in here. He's priced him in. I mean, Ryan's going to look down and go, well, you know, I've got good odds to call here. I'm getting good odds on my money. But I think he's going to throw this away now. He's going to look, and there's just too many hands out there what beat him. And especially coming from Kalakis to bet, you know, if you're sitting in Ryan's shoes, I know it's only 10,000 to win a 43,000 pot, but I think he's going to fold. Jeez, fold for 10,000. Let's see. That's it, Ryan, make me look like a twit. Raised oh, 24. That was the other option. I didn't think that's he'd do that, but that's fantastic. Oh, my play. gosh. Dear <coughs> me. Wow. But it was only a 14,000 raise. It. I never considered it. The bet was so small, Ryan look, saw it as weakness. He didn't think his line was any good. And um, he decided to raise. Oh, great play. Well done, Ryan. He's not trying to make friends here, but he's being brutally honest. Neil Channing analyzing hands. Now, Neil, what was Ryan doing there? Was really, was it creative or was it unorthodox? Uh, it was definitely unorthodox and creative. Um, I thought it was more a question of what Achilles was doing. Andy Greekfish seemed really impressed by the fact that Achilles could limp into a pot with five, six suited, um, which didn't seem that impressive to me. But uh, after that, yeah, check, check on the flop was really the key to the hand, I think. Uh, Ryan choosing to check with the uh, second pair with a nine there, and uh, that opened it up now for uh, him to make that creative play on the end. And, I mean, that play, a lot of people wouldn't think about that, but what was going through Ryan's head? Well, I guess Ryan had taken so long on the turn when Achilles, as, as quite rightly, bet his five, he thinks he's winning by now, and Ryan's taken so long to call that it's starting to look to Achilles like Ryan's on a draw. When the six has come, obviously it's given Achilles two pair, but it, it's filled all the draws. There's a straight draw and a flush there now. Uh, he could put him on the back door flush because the, 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 the flop was checked and, and suddenly uh, the clubs turn up and Ryan's done. He's, he's made the raise cl cleverly small, you know, it looks like he's begging for a call. I, I like Ryan's play. Pass. <coughs> raise to 14,000 total. Pass. This time, Frond has got the jacks. Plus. Jack. Oh, he He's got a jack. <laughs> he only has a jack. 20,000 more. And that's a nice raise by Achilles here. Found a pair of nines, and um, he wants no flop. He wants to take it right now. See, if Brian calls now, there's, there's bound to be an overcard to the nine, and um, Achilles is um, not going to what. Well, he won't know what to do, will he, on the flop? But as we can see, Ryan can't call anyway. Pretty tough, isn't it? Well, unless you're Scandinavian and you're an absolute major tilt after a 12-hour 12, 12 session, you ain't calling this bit, so... I think we'll be alright, safely safe to fold. No. Oh, you're kidding me, ain't you? <laughs> What's going on? Slow here? down, Ryan. Right, this is just... No, he's right. gonna fold, of course. You know, things are really going well for Fronda. I mean, there, there's it, even if he even if he made a move here that did work, it would no, it, it won't work. One and, and so he wouldn't mean, make it. This is just an act to say, look, you know, I'm not raising with rubbish here. And um, Fronda's just putting on a bit of an act here. He looks totally, totally serious. Obviously, if you're sitting at the table, you think he's got a big game. Or we could see Jack Three is um, obviously not very good. No, that, that's not a call. That's oh, oh it was 20,000 more? 
Yeah. He called 20,000 more? Oh, my God. Anyway, Jesse, I'll let you um, do the commentary for this hand, I think. I think he's on moonshine. Oh, has he misread his hand? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he squeezed the jack and done... He squeezed the three and saw it as a jack, maybe. Oh, the, the scariest thing is if he's putting Achilles on a particular hand, which is like ace-king or something, because then he's... Ryan, quick, look at your card. It's not another jack, it's a three. He must have misread his hand here, Jesse. I'll tell you, I, I know, Ryan, there's no way he would have called with jack three, I mean. And he looks pretty serious. He's, you know, he's fooled me. <laughs> so, yeah, if I was sitting on the table now, I think he's got a monster hand. You would, wouldn't you? But, I mean, Achilles ain't putting the nines down, is he? What is going on it? I'm, Ryan has definitely misread his hand. Do you think, Greg Fish, that he just reckons that Achilles is a guy you can push off hands if the board is right? Yeah, I, I, yeah well, we, we all know that anyway, but... Oh, oh, my God, what is going on it, Jess? He's calling to bluff. But he must be. I mean, well, he is. He's, he's got plans for. I mean, this. I is mean, if you're Kalakis right now, you, you think your nines are in trouble here. If I, you're Kalakis, you just can't wait to throw him away. Oh my well, God, it's getting well, worse nines because are pretty strong. He's got additional outs if he, you know, if he did ten. run into a ten at Ball Kalakis. Ball in. Well, that's what he was waiting for. Ryan's called to make that play, uh, and it's a world-class play if you look at it from the start. Now I can see what he was trying to do, and look at the chips going in now. He announces all in, then starts putting the chips in. I mean, you know, just to uh, to scare Kalakis a bit more. But he's got four other outs, Kalakis, with an eight. I if he is behind. Oh, this is a tough one, Jesse. So, so many chips in there. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm, if it works. If it if works. If it works, and it's a class play, but I mean, how risky is it? I mean, Ryan White wanted the scare card on the turn to do this. I mean, seven wasn't the best scare card in the world, you know. If it was a jack, a queen, an ace, then Pass. it's got through, Jesse. It has got through. He is oh. one real nutcase. Holy Toledo. Mate, I'll tell you what, if that never got through, Jesse, he would have beat up the green room when he went in there. Oh, my good God, what has he done? I don't know what we just saw, Neil, but I know I liked it. Was that beautiful or the bonehead play? It was beautiful, wasn't it? It's, the, it's so far as the play of the series. I wish Ryan hadn't have told everyone afterwards that he completely misread his hand and thought he had two jacks. He would have gone down as poker legend. It, it was like Phil Ivey with the third bluff. Absolutely, it was great to watch. And uh, you know, it shows you the importance of table image. Ryan is considered to be a very tight player. Achilles is considered to be a very tight player. They both know that the other one's got a massive hand here. They're both playing it as if they've got a massive hand, except for one of them's got jack three. Now, it's a quarter million dollar tournament here. I mean, have you ever seen this happen before and how, how do you avoid it? Well, Richard Ashby actually, uh, who's also in this heat, is sitting there not knowing what's going on. Obviously, he can't see the cards. He did exactly the same thing also, ironically, with the Jack-3 a couple of years ago. But from him, you know, it comes across as just normal Ashby lunacy. But uh, with these two, it's amazing. If, uh, if Ryan had got called, would we ever be seeing him on TV again? No, never. If you're sitting in Ryan's seat now, you, you've got to put the brakes on now. You've got to lock up. You've got to start playing a bit, you know, a little bit tighter. You've got loads of chips and um, see where it brings you from now. Oh, I'm still amazed about that hand still, Jesse. Cool. <laughs> I'm yeah. sitting there thinking, did he misread his hand? No worries. And, well, well, I, I don't even know no more. I who am I to say anything, Jesse? <laughs> I mean, he was certainly outside the box well, somewhere. That's the sort of flop he wanted, you Jack. know? A jack three ball now. Five anyway, thousand. that hand is over. Kalak has got ace two of spades here. Masoda's Five. got the five queen and he's made a play at the pot, but Kalakis is looking him up, so uh, he's a little bit on tilt maybe, Kalakis here. And a five will bring fireworks. Oh, would you believe it? Check. <laughs> Straight for Kalakis, second Check. pair for Pasoda. And another five would be interesting. Seven thousand. That's a nice bit by Kalakis here. Yeah. He's hoping that um, 
acres obviously got a hand to pay them off with. And although they're not dark glasses, he's still putting his glasses on Nick and um, class player. I just wonder if the, the determining factor there, Greek fish, is, is the fact that Kalakis could be a bit tilted up. I mean, that was a big pop with Fronda that he had to pass. And, yeah. uh, you know, it could have stuck in a bluff, a random bluff there. Just Yeah, I could see Nick's, you know, Nick's point behind calling. But, I mean, um, from judging by Nick's previous plays in these tournaments, he's, he's really impressed me with his uh, ability to fold the hand. Just expecting to see a pair of aces there the right there. I know it, I know it. It's so sick. Five four for front of here. He's thinking of squeezing. He's thinking um, of squeezing it. He can't squeeze. Well, bad cool. play. Bad play. What chance do you think I've got? His first, uh, you know, that, that might have been what? the first what chance time. You think I've Did you got? check it? First time, yeah. that he didn't you know, know you've got the best hand now. Yeah, but the, the and thing like is, the with that, what I like no, about no, it, he goes, it's a bad best. play, I should have raised. No, work now. Because if the ace comes, he's going to represent it, and if the low the raggy block comes, sport. he's going to actually hit it. But look at that. <laughs> yeah, check. mate, and he check. checked. And Which, uh, Kalaki's actually got a 10 check. here, Ashby's got the ice. I mean, Kalakis ain't gonna get in love with this with five people in, is he? I don't think even Ashby's in love with it with his kicker, but now oh, it's all good. Oh. Yep. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm not even gonna make out I've got any of that. Well, let's see what, is Ashby checked? It's gotta be small, Ashby. It's gotta be very small. It's gotta be 6,000. It can't be a lot. 7,000. Oh, that's good enough. See, Kalakis could look him up if he feels really brave now. <coughs> cool. And he has. And everyone else will fold, obviously, and, uh, Ashby, be, Ashby could put a little value bet on the river, maybe, you know, 10,000. Something Sorry, that Kalakis yeah. has to call. Any reason for Ashby Shots. to get greedy? Well, no, not at all. If he bets 10,000 or so, then it'd get paid off. If he bets any more than that, he's not going to get paid off. He's only going to get called by 10 or an ace. And he wants to price this perfectly. Yeah, he's, he's got he's to put it 10. He, He's getting greedy by the looks of things. Looks like 12. 19,000. Ah, that's just too much. He's only getting called by nice. Kalakis knows he's not going to bet thin air now, so, um. Because Kalakis could easily be sitting there with a nice. I'm going to put my reputation on this. He cannot call. He cannot call. Ashby cannot sit there and bet nothing here. Doesn't Clackus feel like he's been folding everything on the river tonight? They're after him. They're bluffing him. Oh my god, don't. Everyone's gonna laugh at me, Clackus. Don't. There's ice, ice on the board, man. You cannot call with a 10. He's not gonna bluff you. I just, I just wonder. He's trying to get a read, obviously. He's trying to get a read off Ashby, and Ashby's in frozen statue mode. At this stage, Ashby, uh... What reason would Ashby have to fire on the turn and then fire on the river again? Would he bet a 10? No, he'd be happy just to check. Oh. Cool. Just thinking, Greek Fish, I mean, if he could find a reason okay. to call, it's just because so it's cold. been going so badly for... He's been getting... It's cold. Yeah, he's been getting punched out on the river, and... Yeah. Just had to draw his line in the sand, maybe. He's really been blown off this table so far, which is really rare to see from Kalakis. But like the pace of this game has been. Right, he, he's, he's pushed all in. He's completely overbet the pot again. Bean pot. Oh. Uh, yeah. The blinds are still Counting. pretty small, and he's made a huge raise. He's only going to get caught if he's was behind. It and um, fifty something it is. Fifty thousand. I think Ryan's going to put him on a big no, ice here. If we listen to what Ryan says, he's going to put him on a big ice. Twenty there. 
Brian knows that Kalakis cannot push all in with Aces, Kings, Queens. He's not going to go all in to win the blinds. So, um, Brian's going to... He's getting the hang of this, you play another half a dozen. I mean, even if... <laughs> Brian's going to put him on the hand there, Jesse. He's going to call his hand out. Well, he's going to put him on the Ace, Queen or Ace, King. That's what I think. And if he's in a race, he should take it with the amount of chips he's got. I mean, things are going so well for Ryan Greekfish. Is, is there an argument for folding? Of, of course there is. He can fold, but it all depends what he puts his guy on. If he puts well, a kid on a big ace... Yeah. And he's got every right to call. <laughs> if he, you know, with the chip positions, the way they are, the chip stacks. Um, if he thinks he's got a bigger pair, then why would he have raised all in um, pre-flop? I mean, you know, to me, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting in Ryan's seat. I'm looking at ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack. Like, that's the sort of hand I'm putting him in. Or equally, it could be a pair of threes or fours or something like that. But I think that's the, the right call. That's and we're going to have a coin flip here unless one of the others are picked up. Yeah. I just wonder, I mean, Kalakis will love this right. situation. I mean, well, Kalakis yeah. needs a double up. Let's get him. I'll right. take a shot. Yeah. If you just That's listen to what Ryan easy. said, he said he's going to take a shot. I mean, he's put him on that sort of hand. I've, you know, it's quite easy to see that. But the good news for Kalakis, if he wins this, he's back in. If Ronda win, wins it, then well, he's dominating. Nines are holding right now. Yeah. Maybe Fronda is just so hot tonight. It doesn't feel like he can lose. Kalakis, sit down. It's not over yet. Sit down. It always goes on the Turnal River. But we are going to lose Kalakis unless an ice or a jack hits this river. And he's out. Oh, he's gone. Good. Well, thank you. will have nearly half the chips sure. in play. Sure. Uh, well, the thing about Kalakis today, I think he had a lot of guts. He's took it like a man today. He's gone out fighting and um, it's just not his day today. That last hand, uh, Franda had to make a big call, but now 308,000 forehanded. And now you know why they say who ate all the pies, because Franda's a greedy little get looking at this pie chart. I mean, he's got half the chips in play, and he's in great shape. Brown has tightened up, and I think the others have now realized it because uh, they yeah. are giving him a lot of respect. Well, I asked Ryan what he would do with the money if he, you know, if he should happen to win the event. And um, he raised said he's going to have an haircut, so that'd total. be interesting. <laughs> all in. We raised all in. Ashby with the re raise from the small blind. Strong. Yeah, well, Fraser's, Fraser's hand here is a lot stronger than it needs I'm to be, forward, isn't it? Three steps backwards. But um, <laughs> Ian's going to have to have a real think about this. He's got 60,000 back. I think he's coming calling. close, so it must be um, The reason he's going to call is because of the size of the pot. He knows if he wins he it, knows all the size. then he's back in. <laughs> he's, he's a pro and he's so experienced in these corners. Wow. I don't know any of this. I don't know the cameras. <laughs> if, the, the, if he looks if at he the size of the pot, I'm not saying it's the right or wow, wrong that would play, be good if he's got but I think ultimately he will call because the of the size of the pot. If he wins this, then he's, he's back in with a chance of actually going on and winning this heat. Whereas if he folds, he's going to leave himself not a lot to work with. Not to mention he's got the best dance, so I'm rooting for a call here. Still got 63 for Paul. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> well, he's Man. trying to figure out, I guess, what Have part yeah. of Ashby's range, you 60. know, the bigger ace is. I mean... Well, we're, we're going to find out what he's thinking. He's, he's going to try and get a read. I've seen Ian do this mm. countless times where, you know, he's seen a big part and he thinks, well, if I won it, I'm back in. And I'll tell you that something, if he does double up, then I'll, I'll fancy him to give Brian a, you know, a shot all the way in it. The winner will come from one of them, so I feel. I'm rooting for a call. I'm rooting for a call because it'd be good for the guy. You can't have a, a six-handed event with Fraser short stake. Well, he, yeah, I think he's going to fall. Well. <laughs> oh. There are sevens. Similar. Trying to give himself every chance here. Well, yes, I don't think he could have done any, any more, more than what he's done today. Yeah. <sighs> uh, that's that's it for Fraser. That's more than enough for him. Just about big enough. All in. Just about big enough. Hmm. Interesting. But anyway, it would take a lot bigger hands to call him. So. Uh, no, look cool. Oh, right, why are you being yeah. cruel? Come on, of you've got four nine, you ain't gonna do nothing. Try it away. 29, <coughs> cool. But just in case you've got a problem with the eyesight, you have four nine, sir. Although you're priced in and 
if it was six, seven, or seven, eight, eight or nine, ten, then I agree, but not four, nine. Don't look, man, in case it no, makes you up, pass. Man. Relax. <laughs> Oh, I see. You can't even, I can't even get action that I'm way. I'm in the driving seat here. Yeah. Oh, if that's the case, Jesse, you never looked it's at his hands. Good hand. cut stuff. Now he's looked at his cards in he, Muckham and Love. There's more Ooh, hands he calls with than he folds here, yeah. but this is one that he's going to fold. What is it? 29,000. This could be dangerous. I think you're in front. I mean, he's getting nearly two this to one. Oh, which is got to listen to this, Jesse. Listen to what Fraser's is saying. 20. Guys, no. I think you're in front. I'm going to try and give it a shot. I've got nothing. Sure. Well, I said there'd be more okay. hands that he would uh, okay. go all in, well, call with than fold. I thought that was one of the hands he'd fold with, but... You never know, I might get lucky. Well, I want you to call with I've it. Got, I've got a call. Good luck. I'm not passing on that. He was getting nearly two to one on the price. Oh, yeah, he's getting, he's getting the odds, but I'm just saying it's a nasty You're looking hand, it. isn't it? Yeah. All right. But um, we're down to uh, Fraser needing to hold here. And there's the four. Ian's going to have to hit the king or ten, Greek fish. Yeah, and um, I predict he will. Well, no, any ace will do as well. Any nine will do as well. So if Fronda gets two pair, Fraser will be delighted. Nope, it's not oh, to be I'm today. Sorry, and, uh, no, I'm not saying this because we're friends. Oh, I, uh, I think he's done everything he possibly can to stay in the tournament, let alone try and win it. Last hand for the Razor. Didn't have enough to push Fronda off the 9-4 and the 4 hit. That's all he needed. Yeah, and if you want an example to give yourself every chance of progressing in a heat, I think Fraser's showing you it today with some great folds and no hands. You're always disappointed when you get beaten. Um, you know, and I do like this uh, game. It, you know, it, everyone says it suits their style, but it. It definitely does suit mine. Uh, I enjoy it. I know exactly how to play it. Um, I can pick up on everyone's reactions very quick, but you still need to have a few cards. You know, I hung around long enough with what I had, and um, I was just glad that I, you know, I never sort of overbet my medium hands and got knocked out. Then I would have been really disappointed. At least I've um, given myself a chance. <coughs> Really glad to see Fronda in this sort of position. At least if he loses now, he could blame himself. Yeah, he raised a lot though, didn't and he? That's, it's not like come down 40, to luck, you know. And Nick's woke up with another hand, and he's, <coughs> he's getting hands at the right time now. That little thing in front of him is called the button, and that's basically something that um, people would never believe you when you raise them now. Total. And he's made a big, hefty raise, and Ryan could fall for this. I made mean, a quick fold with the king ten. Up. Yeah, but, but that was four-handed Greek fishing. Now I mean, Ryan's Ryan's thinking he's doing this a little bit too frequently now. Now, you know, I know Ryan from previous That's things that you know he's not he's happy to fold ace king if he thinks he's behind short-handed. But it's all how he reads it, and he's read it perfectly again. But this is it, Jesse. I fancy Ash Ashby pushes here. I think he pushes Jesse. Twenty more to him, and Ashby's got. It's not the chip stakes, I just think he, he feels that the ace is good. I mean, three-handed, I mean, it's a little bit cold there for them both to have an ace, but it won't surprise me if he pushed all in here. He could uh, make a case from folding. He can't call. He could either go all in or fold. Um, I don't know. <coughs> he's going to pass looking at him. That's that. Well, Ashby knows he's going to Too long, too long. Should've, he should have just moved all in if he was going to move all in. He might have got through. Um, but as it turns out, he's behind, so for the good of the game, then uh, he's going to make a nice lay down, and, um, and that's that. And knowing Nick, he'd be so worried um, that his table, all which in. is going to rubbish. All in. Well, there you go. All in. Cool. It's a decision. Cool. Yeah. Richard Ashby and... Yeah. Well, Nothing. it's not quite a race, but... Um, <coughs> it's hard to get away from ace four, I think, three-handed. Yeah, mm. I, 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 I agree with that. These guys have virtually the exact same stack. Obviously, Perso made up his mind he was taking this all the way. Yeah, he's made his mind pretty far. He's got a big hand, Ace 9 suited. I mean, it's only because of the banter between them and what's been going on previously in the heat. I thought that they could make a move of Ace 4. But he's opened up some doors here. Jesse, any the two lock. here. Here's for a four. <laughs> yeah, any two, any four. And um, this will change the whole game. But basically, both these players are all in. Well, that nine... He's, he's dead to a two now. He, he needs a two. He needs a two. It's goodbye, Charlie. 
Oh my god! Nice. He's hit it, Jess. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Chuffed, he'll be chuffed <coughs> about <laughs> that. Yeah, Nick would be sick about that. Oh dear. Yeah, we've lost him. He's gone. By about 10. <laughs> cool. Well, Nick Trousseau out. <laughs> no worries, mate. Good luck, like both of you. What a hand. Ashby makes the move with Ace 4. Hated getting called. Hated the turn even more. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Ashby's got there on the river. And um, Nick's going to feel very, very sick after doing that. But all he could do is get his money in good. And he got it in good. Then he was unlucky. It was said in 1997 that God himself couldn't have knocked Stu Unger off the final table at the World Series, but Richard Ashby is going to try. He's had a nice run, and he's played very well, Greek Fish, but Ryan Fronda has been out of his skin tonight, obviously to play with the Jack 3. Yeah, I think we've seen, um, with the, when it got three-hand in particular, we've seen uh, the three luckiest players in the... Uh, with some good play as well, um, get to the uh, late stages, obviously. It's a nice match. Uh, Ashby has closed the gap by taking out Perso. They're very close in chips. Yeah, it's, it's anyone's game now. There's, there's nothing in it. I mean, there's so little in it, you can't even say that anyone's got an advantage. If you look at the hands one, I mean, Ashby's one bit more. His bet frequency, uh, bet frequency is slightly more. I mean, it's anyone's. Fried coin in the air, Jesse, I'll call tells. With Frondo, he's, he's not so much an online player, he's a live player, he travel the country and the world to play live, where Ashby will play hundreds and maybe even thousands of hands per day, every day. So we, we've got two very, very experienced players here. And Ashby with the limpy, hasn't tried this one before from the button. Yeah, and Her I like both their hands, I wouldn't mind either of them in the cash game, and you can see why now. I mean, uh, the 8 Check. nine's got a nice draw, the 10 7s. Check connected, so, uh, oh, I don't know. I should be getting a free card. Yeah, it should be interesting. No, that's a, that's a bit of a blank, so who bets wins usually at this stage, but we could see um, 10, that front has actually got the seven, and um, Ashby can't pull up the chance now that um, Fronda ain't got a four or a jack, or even a seven, because let's not forget they're in the blinds. They could have any two cards, any two random cards. There's every likelihood that, he, you know, he's got some of this. Ashby's called. Obviously, the 10 makes the straight. Eight or nine, good as well. And he may be thinking about making oh, a... Oh, ding dong. How did you call that in? Oh, dear, the play card. Now, Fronda's my two power, and Ashby's just hit the nuts. Well, not the nuts, almost the nuts. He's got a straight. He can't beat a full house, but it's so unlikely. But he's got a straight, and how's he going to get paid his head is what he's thinking now. Raised to 50,000 total. And he's not got greedy. And I think it gets paid there. I mean, Ryan's going to look and he's going to say, well, I can't beat a straight, I can't beat a flush, I can't beat a full house. But, I don't know. Yeah. He can't, I mean, if he's got a jack, he can't beat it either, can he? So, uh, or a four. Yeah. I'd love to see him lay this down, but, you know, if I'm sitting in his shoes, there's 25 to win 105, and it's pretty hard. Knowing the guy you're playing is very aggressive, and, you know, Yes, yeah, so right. that's, that's well done, Ryan. He's bit his tongue there, Jesse. He's made a great low down, and uh, Ashby's called for a pin and hit it. Lovely job, Lou. Both these guys have been getting some good caches lately. Ashby's sort of been in the stratosphere area, but. Fronda also hitting the big time. Yeah, but Ashby can make a living in these boxer shorts getting up, um, you know, in the middle of the afternoon every day and playing for two hours. I mean, he's a he's a great online player and he's feared. He's, you know, he could earn money anywhere. Greek fish, I think Ashby has limp to re-raise yes. here and this could all happen. Right. It's uh, a cold deck situation yeah, here. Awesome. Not really. I, I think Ryan folds all if in. he pushes. He raised all in. I, I think. I was saying, Fronda's got the eights. I'm sorry, sorry. It's It's marginal. Ashby's got his chips in first. Now, this is the first time Ashby has re-raised Fronda, and it was a limp re-raise. Expect 10 minutes here, Jesse. It's not going to be making a decision rashly. He's going to have a count up, and he's going to see, and you're absolutely right what you were saying. But Ryan's sitting there thinking, what can he have done this with? 
And he will sit there and he'll, he'll put all the hands in his head. Has he got a big ace? Has he got a big pair? Would he have really re-raised me all in with a big pair there? If he had jacks, queens, kings, aces, would he have done that? And that's what he'd be asking himself. If Ryan puts him on a big ace, like an ace queen or an ace jack or an ace king or whatever, he could take the race and try wow. and win it. It's going to be a tough fold, this one. She trapped me in the beginning. Two hundred and sixty. Oh, cool. yeah. Your pair? Yeah. You're in good shape, man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly it. Ashby knows. Nice, nice pass. Nice hand. And it, it's just a situation. I mean, Ashby was waiting for something to re-raise him with. A pocket pair is good enough most of the time. Heads up, great yeah, fish. Yeah, of course. That's it's just whether he wanted to, what he put him, uh, put him on. But let's not forget, if Fronda does win this, Jesse, it's not over. There's still another thirty-four thousand chips that Ashby has behind. So Fronda has to win this to stay in now. It's not over if he wins this. Not yet. And the flop is kind. It's Queen Jack 3. And um, Ashby needs a 6. And Fronda's dodging it. Got the clubs as well. Oh, well, it's a 6. That's sick. That is just unbelievable. But we've got clubs here as well. Fronda's got a, the 8 of clubs. Any club what doesn't pair the ball, Fronda wins this. Come on, a club. Get in now. Get in now! Oh, I'm not very good. You got a flush. No, no, I need to get <coughs> oh, man. I'll tell you what, that was something. <laughs> you know, these guys are very important. I thought the clubs, I knew if the you six of clubs come. I've been done so many times. Gives you a flush draw, I knew that was going to They've both played some super oh, I'm sorry, uh, Ashby's going to be looking back thinking Greek fish, you oh. plonker, why did you do that? But I'm just pleased to see Ryan actually get a little bit lucky. And let's not forget you had the best hand pre flop. Okay, one, two, two forty, two fifty. Pair over pair. Very tough for either to get away, although Ashby got the chips in first. The six on the turn looked like the savior, but the club on the river creek fish. Yeah, well, I, I think there's a little bit of justice there. You know, I'm not being biased. Well, not a lot anyway, but, I've, you know, you had the best stand, and um, you got unlucky, then got re-lucky, and, um, yeah, good luck soon. It's, it's an any two situation now. Just go on in. Yeah, there's no need to look. Maybe have an all in on the call. And, uh, I would say Ashby's got a better hand than 10 high. <laughs> so, oh, he's got much the King Jack. Don't know how much he's. 34. And you'll work it Right, there, if yeah. Ashby wins this, it'll be 68,000. So, um, it's a lot better than 34,000. Yeah, 67% for 68,000. So Ashby's in great shape for a, you know for a double up here. And there's the king. Well, there's the straight draw. Oh. Now oh, he's open ended from the rear. So this is going to be a pretty okay, sick right way me. to outdraw yeah, him if a jack comes. Good shape. But a six are probably end it here. Well. Oh, you're up well now. Right now. It's still there's still no change really, it's Jesse. Now Fronda needs six. a ten, a six, or a jack. Oh, oh he's hit it. Oh, well played. Is it it, Jesse? Well, it's all over. He <laughs> certainly has. That's Go so on the Ryan machine, and uh, we have a winner. Fronda, Ryan Fronda has took this down. <sighs> and, uh, unlucky Richard Ashby, oh, you played a great game. Sick. Well, so it was sick. written in the stars tonight. Couldn't have really divide him in a heads up, but Fronda has just seen like it just shows you, Jesse. What 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 I'm curious about that little bit of luck. I mean, he's got lucky. He got re lucky with the eights, and he's got lucky on the, with the straight there. You need that little bit of luck to win these heats, no matter how good you play. Well, if it comes down to who tried the hardest, it was the right two at the end. But Ryan Fronda, congratulations. I mean, I know how much you wanted this, and you just went after it in the beginning. Yeah, I think I played quite well. Yeah, I, I definitely wanted to uh, do well in this particular heat. Yeah, for sure. Richard, commiserations, but well played. I mean, between you and Ryan, you guys were in like every pot the first couple of levels. Yeah, I suppose I started off quite fast there. I wanted to try and get some chips. Um, I thought they were playing quite tight, a few of the players. So. And then uh, heads up, there really wasn't much in it. You guys just seemed very stalemated. No, I mean, in, in hindsight, I, I perhaps should have tried to play more flops. I think I was more comfortable playing flops and rather than push with the sixes there. But. I can't complain because I got lucky when we we're three-handed, so. I mean, Ryan, you, you keep threatening to give up TV poker, but now you're through to the semis. Well, it's only because of the tenor clubs. <laughs> if the tenor clubs doesn't come on the river, I'm, I'm finished. It finishes me off, I think. But it's great. I mean, it's really good. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't really want to play Rich heads up in this particular situation. He's so comfortable online, and 
I've got a lot of respect for him. So it was, it was good. It was good. And I, was, I got lucky at the end. And he got lucky. I got lucky. It's the way it goes. It is Ryan Fronda, the first man into that second semifinal. We'll be seeing Richard Ashby again. Remember, there's still 576000 in the prize pool to play for. Next time, a former boxing champion will try to put paid to the Greek fish. One, two, one, two, Jesse May, Jesse May, one, two. London could be burning here on the PartyPoker.net World Open Forum.